every artist begs for like a moment in time where people are paying attention to you and, and you know when it actually gets to you you have to seize the moment. I met a friend recently that was, uh, there's that game they play in Afghanistan on the goats, where they pick the goats up on the horse, and they throw it, it's like a sport. But they can have a ball now, but it was it used to have a goat. And so all these countries play it around there. So Afghanistan has a team, Turkmenistan has a team, Uzbekistan, Russia has a team, because I guess the southern parts of it, um, Turkey, Iraq, and these couple of like, ex-Marine guys decided to like go there and do the American team, and they're like, some kind of outreach of Afghanistan, so they decided to go there and perform and, and do the and practice a little bit and be part of this like the the, the international competition of the sport. And um, they got there and they say, yeah, we're, you're going to play Uzbekistan. It's going to be really small. And they ended up playing in this giant stadium for like a hundred thousand people. It was one of the most watched sporting events for any of these countries. And they got destroyed. You know, like whatever they lost completely. But it's funny that there are there is like so many weird cultural phenomena in these places. Like that sort of Central Asia, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's you know, and it's even those really weird foreign exotic sports are still commercialized. Like they're in stadiums, and the countries play each other, and they have uniforms. So there's very little even that I understand about some of these places that is still happening under the radar.